Okay, so what I have here is a collection of sovereign silver coins, and that's what I prefer when it comes to uh, collecting silver. Uh, I'm not into the rounds, although I think some are pretty cool. Uh, not into the bars, really just the government-issued coins. And it all started with, well, I guess it started with my father's coin collection, which kind of got me into this whole environment to begin with a few months ago. And so as a result of that, I picked up a, uh, a tube of, I guess, a starter kit. And I made a video about this um, a couple months ago from SD Bullion, featured five different um, countries, coins, four of each. So you had the American Silver Eagle, the Canadian Maple Leaf, the Austrian Philharmonic, the Australian Kangaroo, and the uh, Great Britain uh, Britannia. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and um, I've taken the four and I've added, in some cases, 16 more to make a complete tube of 20. And that's my goal is to have rolls of 20 of the sovereign, uh, the sovereign coins. So I'm going to go through what I have here uh, for a few minutes and talk about what my plans are going forward. And uh, I guess let's get started. All right, so these are the Morgan Dollars. And I take them all out of here. And I've got them. And by the way, these, um, these are uh, airtight is the manufacturer. And these are direct fit. And they make it for just about every coin, I believe. And then these tubes are great. These are from a vendor called On Fire Guy. So they're designed to hold 20 of, the, uh, of these direct fits for whatever coin you have in here. And so... This is a pretty common size. I believe this holds the Eagles, the Peace Dollars, the Morgans, um, some other coins. But anyway, the Morgan Dollar, this was a uh, advertised as a BU, Brilliant Uncirculated Lot. And I guess it uh, fits that description. Some comments were that it looked more like an AU or almost uncirculated, but whatever. I like them. I mean, here's this one has some, uh, has some toning. These are all pre-1921 uh, dates, which I guess that's the most common issue uh, for this particular coin. So the Morgan dollar, and I have it in mind to pair it up with a tube or a roll of uncirculated peace dollars, which aren't that expensive. Um, so that'll come at some point, but that's the first tube showcase here, the mixed year Morgan dollar. All right, up next, we'll take a look at these. I made a mistake. Um, I ordered the right size direct fits, but I ordered the wrong tube, and I ordered them separate from one another. I should have ordered them as a set. I don't know what I was thinking, because you can from, uh, like I said, on Fire Guy, you get the tube, and oftentimes he's going to sell 20 of these with it, and for whatever reason, I had like an extra empty tube, so then I had to buy, I don't know. Anyway, these are the uh, Austrian Philharmonics, and uh, this is the one case where I had to get the ring design, because there wasn't the right fit for, I guess, this particular diameter. Although I prefer just sort of like the naked version. Um, I didn't have a choice with these. So these are all um, Philharmonics. Got a total of 20. And I believe this was in 2008. Yeah, it's mixed years. So again, I got four of these with the starter kit. And then I picked up 16 more. Just random year variety. And so here they are. And I'm just waiting for the, uh, for the plastic tube to come in. So I can get these uh, kind of better organized. So there is the Philharmonic. Up next, we could take a look at, I know these are the Canadian Maple Leafs because I had to go with a red cap on these because they wouldn't fit with a uh, with a with uh, the plug style cap. But I got 20 here. And again, four, well, I pieced this set together. The four I got in that starter kit were from 2024. And so it was very easy to get the rest of them from this uh, this uh, calendar year. Um, and I actually picked up, I think, about a dozen of these from uh, Tim Marshner at the Coin and Stamp Shop in Manchester, New Hampshire, about a month or so ago. So um, I like the maple leaf a lot. It might be my favorite sovereign coin. And so I have these 20... And I'm also working on, is this right here? Yeah, I'm working on another roll, of which I've only gotten four. And these are the four that, um, where did these come from? I think I bought these. These are the, I think these came in that starter kit. because These are Queen Elizabeth, so these are like 2023 20, or before. So there's four in here, 
and I've got the rest of the capsules that I'll fill out um, at some point. I mean, this, I'll add those to the collection. So one full roll and working on a second. And I guess I'll be right back and we'll talk about some eagles. All right, so here are the Silver Eagles. This was another SD Bullion purchase. This was the Mint mint Certified Roll, all from 2024. And just really nice. And um, I guess what people can do, I think these are more, I guess, more likely to get the highest grades if you were to send them in for grading. I have no interest in graded coins or sending coins in for for grading, I know my father had a whole bunch of them. In fact, he had a whole run of eagles up till this year, like PGC or NGC, something or other. Um, but those don't interest me. Uh, I like the coins in this state, you know, ungraded uh, with a coin holder, so you can handle them without fear of, uh, you know, making them, I guess, smudgy or, or whatever. Um, and here's a second roll of eagles I'm working on. And here's the one I cleaned at the bottom. I'll take these out. I'm going to a video about cleaning the eagle. It looks okay. Here it is in the thing. And you can see from the side, it's definitely the one that was dirty. But the rest of these are all um, uh, random years prior to 2024. So basically, with the Maple Leafs and the Eagles, I had a set of 20 for this calendar year. And then the goal for a second roll was just to have a, a mixed bag from prior years. And so that's what I'm trying to do with these eagles here. So I need... I think I have 15 of them. I need five more, um, and I'll just take any five from 2023 or before just to, just to fill out this tube to have that random grouping of American eagles. All right, up next, these came from my father. Um, not these, actually. Uh, these. These Kennedy halves from 1964, which looks like an uncirculated roll. Um, somebody pointed out. And they certainly are clean and shiny. So I got a roll of 20 of Kennedy halves. And these are the only coins here in this video that uh, uh, came from that collection. But I wanted to match up these Kennedy halves with a BU roll of Franklin halves. That's what I got right here. Let me take these out. And uh, it's a roll of uh, 20. And, you know, no key dates. Just, I mean, are these all the same year? 60... No, 50, I can't even read. What's this say? 63? Yeah, I mean, they're all prior to 1964, right? So I think they're all 1963, um, which is fine. I didn't, care about, I didn't care about the dates. I just wanted a roll of 20 um, that I could, you know, again, match up with these, uh, with these Franklins. Now, as far as half dollars are concerned, I'm also interested in some Walking Liberties. I do have a, a bunch in a coin book, you know, that I that I took on from my dad, but they're definitely beat up, you know, circulated or what. And I'm, I want like maybe a, a set of twenty that are at least um, almost uncirculated. So I have I've located some, but I've yet to uh, take the dive on them. But anyway, these are the Franklin halves, and again, I got these to pair up with the Kennedy halves. And lastly, I've got the Silver Britannias from Great Britain and a nice clean roll of 20. And I believe, are these mixed? I think, are they all King Charles? I think these are all 2024, as a matter of fact. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, they're all, uh, you know, all uncirculated, new, and uh, again, it was, um, uh, I think I had four that came in here and then I added 16 more. And I wanted to say some of these were, some of these were Queen Elizabeth, but I don't know. Anyhow, so here's the, the Silver Britannia from Great Britain. And I'm gonna stop there. So as far as stopping, I'm gonna stop with this one roll only, only with the Eagles and the Maple Leafs. So will I add more potentially later on, but these other ones, you know, these Austrian Philharmonics, these Britannias, um, one roll and done, one and done for me. And lastly, the, the four kangaroos. Um, oh, I know I should be, I should be using gloves, right? But don't really care. Um, 
These are silver kangaroos from not this year because it has Queen Elizabeth on there. But uh, I do, just because I have these four, uh, my OCD will get the better of me and I'm going to want to add another 16 of them so I can get a full roll, a full roll, like I've done with these other sovereign coins that I've, that I've got here that started with this little starter kit here. And then whatever else I have on the table stuff, I think I've shown recently like these one and a half ounces from the Solomon Islands. Um, so going forward, um, I'm looking at some 90% silver, more of that, uh, some mercury dimes, almost in circulated roll of 50 uh, coming my way. And then I'd like to get into, I think I mentioned the walking liberties and then maybe some of the quarters. Now I have a lot of this already, but I just want it. I want to make it my own. I mean, my, my dad's collection was his collection and, um, I kind of want to do my own thing and focus on the, the shinier things. Yeah. <laughs> like these Chinese pandas, which these weren't cheap. I got three here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to build out a roll of these. I, I thought about it. Uh, the one out, the one out, the 30 grams um, set of these various years if I could. Or maybe I'll do like maybe five of these, maybe five silver Krugerrands, five of like something else. You know, you know other uh, sovereign coins, I don't want to commit to a full roll four but um i got three of these now and these here are a couple of random what 64 kennedy halves that i he had these in the walking liberty coin book for whatever reason to take up space but so that's where i'm at up to this point with the uh silver uh and my uh collecting or uh, stacking not a stacker <laughs> but i guess i'll use that term because it helps uh with the alliteration of the of the video title Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.